Hello, hello, hello. So this is going to be my second part of the Valheim. Uh, basically automating the game. Some uh, features that I came up with after my first video. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. Def uh, it has to do with skill leveling. Kind of automating a few of the skills that you can um, automate pretty easily. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this code. And then I will show you some examples. Uh, but before we jump into the code... Definitely hit that subscribe button if you'd like seeing videos like this or just want to learn auto hotkeys, which is the language I'm using. I use it for not just gaming, but personal life and for my job. I automate a lot of my job uh, from Outlook to manipulating Chrome forms and stuff like that. So definitely check uh, some of my other videos out. And if there's a game you want to see me try to automate uh, to help you guys out, definitely hit me up in the comments below. And hopefully I can buy the game or I already have it and I can find something useful to show you guys. So yeah, let's take a look here. So the first one I got uh, for the line is just a message box that's going to pop up. So let's go ahead and show you that. And that's just to remind me each time I start this script what the different hotkeys are uh, and what their action are. Uh, you can, if you don't want to see this pop up every time, you can just delete this line of code completely and you'll be fine. If you want to keep it, you can always just comment it out by putting a semicolon there. And that's just basically saying this is a note now, kind of like what I have right here. But for now, for visual purposes, I'm just going to leave it uh, active. So the first one, um, when you press Q in the game, you start walking in a straight line. Kind of sometimes I wish it would let me run without me having to press and hold shift. So I created this. Uh, you press F4. Uh, the reason I'm starting with F4 is in my last video I used F1, F2, and F3 as my hotkeys. So if you want it to, you can actually take the script that I have in the first video and this script and combine them into one script and they'll work perfectly fine together. So uh, what this is going to do is when I press F4 it's going to start a loop which just means keep doing the same thing over and over again. It's going to push shift down which is uh, to make it so I can run. It's then going to press Q, which starts that auto, you know, running forward. And then it's going to sleep for 10 seconds. And the reason I chose 10 seconds is because that's about how long it takes for my energy to drain to zero. Obviously, you can adjust this to match whatever your character's needs are or just what you want them to do. Uh, but 10 seconds worked pretty well for me at my current position. Uh, after 10 seconds, it's going to shift up. Uh, you notice Q is still going. Uh, that's because I just wa I'll have to walk for a little bit while my energy revitalizes uh, there. And that takes about another 10 seconds. And once that happens, it's just going to start the whole thing over again. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first one here. So I know my uh, screen's a little cropped here, but that's okay. You should still be able to see the main... Uh, focus of what we want. Let's give it a second load here. And see that message box is useful because I think, yeah, F4, just double checking. And if you guys come up with any other things you would really like to uh, have automated in this game also, uh, give me some ideas down there. Uh, you know, maybe it's something I just haven't thought of or haven't really tried. And uh, I definitely like to try to use it because it should be useful for me also. So let's go out here into a field, nice open area. Let's get back a little farther. That should be good. So I'm going to go ahead, face that direction, and I'm going to push F4. After I push F4, my hands and my um, are coming off the keyboard and the mouse. There we go. So it did that shift, holding it down, press Q. And after about 10 seconds, it's going to just release that shift. There it goes. That way my energy can build back up. It takes about 10 seconds for that to happen, and I'll start running again. And hopefully nothing attacks me. There we go. And I'll just keep repeating until I'm done. So I'm just going to go ahead and push F12. And let me get back to a safe area. Just be on the safe side. And 
Yeah, I think I should be good here. Let's just go up in the starting point. So the reason I push F12 is because in the code right here, that's just going to reload my script. And that's basically so it can break the loop here. Because as you see, I do not have a break in here. Um, just because this is just the simplest way to break a loop like that without any kind of conditions that I can control. Uh, critical just means, you know, take priority over the current loop. So just instantly do it. Even if you're in the middle of a loop, go ahead and reload. And that's why you saw that message box pop up again, because it's starting back at line one. So another thing that was really annoying for me is when I'm just going crazy with chopping wood. You could use this for other stuff like rapid fire, maybe like your bow or something. Um, but I like it for chopping wood. I, I hate having to just sit there and click, 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 click over and over again until a tree falls down and then have to repeat it on, you know, breaking that log up, doing the next tree. So F5, it's going to start another loop, a click, which just means left mouse button click, sleep one second, and this you can adjust if you want. Uh, I just kind of put one second in there because I thought it would do me just fine, and it seemed to be okay. And that's all it is. It's just going to keep looping, click, wait one second, click, one second. And then once again, we'll use that F12 to stop what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and take my axe out. And I find this useful uh, to find trees that are kind of near each other, so you can really just keep going at it. Uh, uh, this this looks perfect right here. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to press F5, and my hands are off my mouse and my keyboard. And as you see, I keep clicking. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead, I'm not clicking, but I'm using it so I don't, you know, well. So that doesn't happen, but it did. <laughs> but... Yeah, basically we're just going to jump around uh, from tree to tree as we click. Uh, once the it falls down, we can kind of just go ahead and you know start chopping the log without half an interruption. But F12 started over, so we're good to go. And uh, you don't have to download this whole script if you just want one piece of it. You know, feel free to just take piece by piece so based on what you want. Uh, if you are using the loops, just make sure you do take this piece with it. And you can reassign these to whatever you want. You know, I have F12. If you want it to be F10, you, go ahead. No worries. Just change it up how you need it. So the last one, and this is by far my favorite. I call it Ready for Battle. Uh, there'd be a lot of times where I'd be playing, and, you know, we'd be fighting, like, a boss or just, like, a horde of things, and i die, and i have to run back to my tomb grab all my stuff and then once I grab all my stuff you know before I really want to jump back into battle even though we're kind of still in the heat of it you know I got to eat some food put my clothes back on redraw my weapons you know, it's a lot to do and maybe even use my buff so what I did here and uh, let me go ahead and bring that up is I created a GUI here oh, let's bring that back up so I created a little GUI here and you just got, you know, slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 8, and your buff. So you pick what you want to use. So let me go get my stuff back, I'll show you that. Good thing I didn't die too far. Can't believe I died from a tree. There we go. So, you know, I just picked all my stuff up after dying. I guess it's actually a good thing I died. <clears throat> so I need to put everything back on. So if I'm going to battle, let's say my inventory was organized this way. Let me just do some redoing here. Let's put that up there, and I'll put some food up there. There we go. So this is basically my ready-to-go-to-battle kind of organization here. So, um... I need to put all this stuff back on, and I do want to use my buff down here. So, with that GUI, I'm just going to go ahead and select everything. You obviously don't have to do that. Uh, you can select what you want, um, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it all. So I'm going to push go, that's going to save my settings, and so these are just kind of like a check, so if, uh, once you save your settings, um, once you go back in, if I push F6 again. 
yeah, as you see, my settings are still saved there. So that's all this uh, up here is doing and saying, you know, slot one did it equal one, which just means checked. Then make that variable checked. And then down here, we got, you know, is it checked or not? So this is the GUI here. I made this in Smart GUI. I did a video on there. If you ever want to change this, add more to it, definitely check that video out. It's uh, just such an easy way to design stuff like that. Uh, once I push the go button, that's just save. That's just going to say GUI submit. It saves all the you know checks that I did. And then what I'm going to do is when I'm ready, I'm going to, after I died, got my stuff back, I'm going to push F7. And it's just going to go through and say slot 1, was it checked, which is 1. If so, send 1, and so on. And then, you know, here's your buff. If buff, yo, that's the variable name, equals 1, as in it was checked, send F, which is uh, to use your buff, as long as it's uh, ready to go and not still in cooldown. So, yep, there we go. I push F7, and as you see, I'm just kind of hands off the mouse and keyboard and it's just really fast gonna put all my stuff down there and uh, you can't see it because it's cropped out but it, I ate all three of those foods and it's just a faster way for me to now be ready to jump back into battle and go and help my friends out because I don't know for me when I die you know if I'm in the heat of the battle I'm trying to run around I can just push f7 and have it kind of do everything for me while I'm kind of keeping focus on where the enemy is, and then be like, all right, go. And I know I didn't miss anything where I'm, like, clicking real quick, one, two, three, but maybe I skipped four by accident. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys come up with any ideas, like I said before, hit me up in the comments. Uh, I'm already trying to come up with more ways to automate this game along with a lot of the other games I'm playing, so let me know. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification because I am releasing about two to three videos every week. Sometimes about work, uh, personal, or gaming with automation. So thank you guys. Have a great day.